Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today's topic is what gifts haven't you used? And the reason I came up with this topic is because I've got a couple of card decks which I've never used. So one is this Lenormand Oracle cards, one is this, it's just playing cards. Um, the other one is this Alice in Wonderland uh, playing cards deck as well and I have never used these but I bought them a long time ago so <laughs> what gifts haven't you used today this is very literal for me we're actually going to use these decks that I've never used before and one of you had a really brilliant suggestion which was we should go through the planets so just like we did what does the moon have to say to you we should do each one we should do what does the sun have to say what does the mercury have to say to you what does venus we'll, we'll do all of them that was such a great suggestion it's just that i came up with this idea before i read your suggestion and i thought well might as well do it because these are quite beautiful as you can see they're just ordinary playing cards uh, have i maybe i have used this on the channel but i feel like i haven't used this I don't think I've used this I've used this for myself a couple of times it's amazing it's really good and this Lenormand deck so it's kind of like when you buy clothes thinking I'll definitely wear that and then you never do well I have some tarot decks that I've never used but we're definitely going to use them so we're going to enjoy that oh and another thing I wanted to thank my viewer who recently sent a huge donation Thank you so much for that. With that, um, I have purchased this and you know it, it was a very large donation. So I, I will be using that uh, to, now I'm gonna have to ship all of these cards back to England. So, and that's gonna cost a lot of money. So thank you, uh, that, that is definitely gonna be used for that purpose. And I will keep expanding the collection when I get back to England. I do have a couple more decks arriving by post even now. There's one coming from America. It's an inner child deck. It still hasn't arrived yet so post from America seems to take time I think um, but yeah sometimes it comes really quickly but on this occasion it's it's slow for some reason. Oh and the other thing that we're going to do there's no jar today so what I've got are these handwritten cards so we do have a handwritten element to the reading I always like having something handwritten I don't know why but um, now these are based on the content that's in here now this is Chuck Spezzano healing cards I ordered this card deck secondhand because I will do anything to get my hands on uh, you know Chuck Spezzano's original stuff it's very difficult to buy his card decks now I have one in England which I could probably sell for a few hundred dollars that's how amazing these are anyway I saw this pop up on some book depository or something. I can't remember world of books something like that anyway they were selling a secondhand copy I was over the moon I was like yes and it wasn't too much money and I was like wow this is great all they sent was this and they didn't send the cards and when I told them, hey, you haven't, you know, what, what are you doing? You haven't sent me the cards. I would love to have the cards. And they said, oh, well, this is all that we have or something. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and made the cards. So you can see all these numbers here. And these are the kind of positive cards. And these are the you've got some work to do cards. So what we'll do is we will shuffle and draw from these. And I'll read to you from the guidebook because... Uh, Chuck Spezzano has a PhD in psychology. He's, you know, absolutely brilliant. Does workshops in Germany, Hawaii, all over the world. Has a huge number of clients. Amazing guy. So I'll read word for word. And sometimes when I've watched tarot readings myself, I love when people bring out the guidebook and, you know, they read directly and they, sometimes I'll pause it and I'll read what's in there myself. So I'll let you know. Um, when you know maybe you want to pause it and yeah you can take a look so that's what we're doing today and next week we'll start going through all the planets so thank you to the person who suggested that it was an excellent idea all right choose from group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group number one then you are in the right place and before we take these we're going to take one of 
this unused gift <laughs> which is the Lenormand deck. I was trying to learn the Lenormand deck so I bought one and then I didn't learn anything did I until last was it Saturday? I can't remember. And I, oh, let's take that one. And I sat down and I actually wrote all the little meanings here on paper. So we've got everything. Like if I need to look something up, I can. Let's take, let's take one of these and then we'll take one of these and then we'll draw some tarot as well. I hope your week is good wherever you are. Here in Australia, it is rainy it's gray it's stormy it's not what it should be i don't know what's going on it has never rained this much uh, in all my life and mum's been commenting on it as well like we can't can't work out what's going on it's so rainy oh let's put it back <laughs> all right um and then we'll do how about we do let's take them all first so we'll take one of these and one per these tiny decks that I've never used. So we'll have one of those. Uh, what else? One of these. Alice in Wonderland. And one of these. Which is some kind of, I think these are Art Deco, Art Nouveau. I don't know. Something. They're very pretty. All right. Let's take that one. Okay, let's see what's going on. And then we'll take from this um, Chuck Spetsano thing because he's so good. All right, let's go for the big one first. Ooh, Malika of Coins. I would say that is the Queen of Pentacles. Lovely. Okay, wonderful. Destiny. Nice. Oh, I love that. It does seem you've got beings watching over you at this time. Great. Twenty. All right, now I am going to have to look this up. Is this the garden? I'm not sure. Take a look, garden. Yes, it is. Now, when I read about this, it talked about, it says here, where you socialize, go for a walk, you know, where you go to enjoy, right? So we've got the garden here. So this was talking about how some time ago, the garden was where you would go to socialize, actually. It's, it's to think of like a public space, a public garden, a public park, or something along those lines. We've also got a two here, a number two, which is a partnership number as well. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see what this is. Seven of Swords, all right. Okay. Two of Spades, two of Wands. Let's see, is it Wands or is it Swords? Let me think. No, clubs would be wands. So this is, yes, two of swords. Okay, and the possibility of you're going in two different directions. Wow, these Alice in Wonderland cards are really done very well because that imagery there is, is quite perfect. You're not sure in which direction to go. It's interesting, we've got a two here and we've got two beings here. Also two guides, which is quite interesting. All right, so now this is a jack, which could be considered a page or a knight of diamonds of pentacles. Okay, and what kind of imagery do we have here? Wow, we've got two beings upside down. This is quite interesting. Hmm. This does, I mean, a very obvious take on this could be confusion around a partner around you know which option do I go for do I stay with this person or do I go for this other person this kind of thing and a lot of this thinking you're doing now seven of swords can be deceit but we do see here that he's wearing a mask right or he's hooded he's 
So he's trying to figure these things out by himself in the darkness. That's how I'm going to read this card. Let's take some more cards. Let's see. Let's see if we can... Let's have a clarifier on this. Page of Cups. Yeah, this is newness in love or a new beginning in love. Perhaps you're unsure of whether to stay with someone who's established or who you've established something with over many years. You might have children with this person, you might have a home with this person. Let's take a clarifier here. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Ace of Swords. Okay. So I've asked who she is and we get the Ace of Swords. I mean, she might be established. She might be very intelligent, very sharp. Are you deciding between two people? Let's have a look here. Is this that kind of thing? Destiny. What's the choice point about? Hanged man. So there's no movement until, until what? Until you do what? There's no movement on your path until you do what? What do you need to do? Queen of Cups. Well, until you sink into your heart space and until you feel Feel out the feelings. There could be some emotions that are blocking you at this time. There's something in the emotional body. There's something in your heart space. You need to drop into the heart. You need to feel. Feel what's there. And I feel like when you do that, you're going to get forward movement. You'll know what to choose, but it feels like you need your heart in order to make this next choice. Why are these upside down, these two figures, page or knight of pentacles? It's like you're trying to create something or earth something in the material world. Maybe it's not happening fast enough or it's not happening as you would like it to. Yeah, this is you materializing, building the dream, the dream life, the dream home. Okay, so you are doing that. Good. You've got to feel the feelings. And to me, this looks really promising here. This looks like something that you need to do just for you, which is socialize, have fun, be with people. Any guidance on this? The garden. What do you what what's what's the garden all about? Is this about rest, relaxation? Okay, let's take that. Yeah, hermit, definitely, yeah. This is so this garden thing is just for you, just for you by yourself. This garden thing is you need space, you need time, you need time to be, you need time to be alone, ideally. And in the alone time you will be able to feel what's going on in your heart space. Perhaps you, this could also be you, this queen of pentacles could also be you because you're working towards establishing, creating the dream around you, this lovely material life around you. Possibly you're using the mind to do that, but you're very much up in your head. So this could be you. Maybe your feminine side is up in the mind all the time. 
and it's actually we need to come down these stairs into the heart space and sink in and be in the heart and not be afraid of that not be afraid of feeling you know feeling is good feeling is wonderful it's wonderful to listen to music that moves you and inspires you and you know all of that that's really really wonderful oh good well i'm loving the energy here i mean i do think yeah there's let's let's clarify about this <laughs> the choice point what any more information any more guidance information about this uh, two of swords what, what are we so confused about or what, what guidance can we have here can we have some more guidance other than sink into the heart space strength yeah be strong you see don't be afraid of going into the heart space don't be afraid of feeling you know feeling is wonderful and i was reading yesterday about how uh, the ego likes its own realm of emotions it doesn't like joy it doesn't like love why because that's universal ego loves what it made and ego made fear and anxiety and you know and, and and ego intellectualizes emotions as well and discriminates on emotions and says that well these emotions are way more cool than those other emotions you know <laughs> but it's like you actually have to be extremely emotionally strong to channel a lot of love and that's far more powerful that's that's really uh, good to be able to do that. So let's take a look and see what Chuck Spetsano has to say. All right, so we're going to draw one of these. So this is like the overall guidance, and I'll get the guidebook out. I'll read some bits of it. Oh, the guilt conspiracy. Okay, let's take it, and let's take a light attribute as well. Or should we just let's read from here? Let's see what he says. Let's see what we've got. Number twenty. The guilt conspiracy. Okay, what have we got? And I'll what I'll do is I'll just I'll give you that. If you want to pause this and read it, but I'll start reading from if you receive this card. Okay, so you've got that there. You can have a read of that. And what I'll do is I'll start reading from here. So receiving this card, on one level, every negative event that has ever happened in your life has happened so that you can punish yourself for some earlier guilt. Okay, let's take a look here. Just try and focus it. There we go. Any setback you suffered as a result of old guilt now increases your feelings of guilt. If you want to free yourself, you can use the guilt to track the bad feeling back to the root incident and heal it all. The alternative is to go on punishing yourself. Guilt is so painful that we either project it onto others in judgment or compensate for it by punishing or sacrificing ourselves. If you have guilt, you are trapped in the past. A guilt conspiracy means that you are trapped in such a way that you will never let yourself off the hook until you let go of the guilt. Forgiveness and self-forgiveness are ways to heal guilt absolutely forgiveness is such a massive healer let's take a look and see what positive card we get from this chuck spezzano deck and we all suffer from we all have guilt you know everybody not the person on the planet who doesn't experience it or have it or these are all natural things Okay, we want one. Oh, we're having it. Well, we've got two. All right, well, let's see. Oh no, we've got three. I feel like I want to shuffle again because we saw that earlier. We saw light earlier. So let's, let's shuffle again. We just want one. There we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's really meant for you. <laughs> Even when I try to control the situation, it's like, no. Okay, number 77. Let's see what we've got. It's a very good card. So we've got this, light. You can pause that and read that if you would like. And I will read the bit where it says receiving this card. So I'll just try to focus this. Oh dear, 
There we go. So you can probably pause that. What I'll do is I'll read it out. Receiving this card. If you receive this card, then you are turning the proverbial light switch. Oh, turning on? No? Turning the proverbial light switch and the darkness is rapidly melting away. Yeah, I think we do need the word on there. Uh, anyway, conspiracies which are built on layers of darkness cannot withstand the truth of light. Light brings love, demonstrating the bonding that had always been there. Light brings freedom. Light brings mutuality, showing that you, all things, and all people are connected. Light is a blessing that gives a home to all. As the collective unconscious is brought to the light, ignorance, suffering, and death will finally be banished from the mind of man. Because it's all one mind, yeah. Uh, when the light has fully arrived, you will know yourself as eternal spirit created by spirit and enjoying all the power and happiness of the creator. This card shows that the light is coming into your life to dispel pain, competition and chronic traps. The light is always being given to you if you would only realize it. I learned that from Sister Wendy Beckett. Uh, oh, the camera's gone red. I will just, it'll, as I was saying, it'll just cut out. Um, the light is always being given to you if you would only realize it. Yeah, light is coming through to us all the time. Knowing that is really powerful because then we realize it's some blockage within me, you know, that's not receiving, it's not allowing me to receive. There can be no separation, fear, guilt, competition or special selfishness where there is light. Light is full of blessings. Claim it as your own. How beautiful. I love this reading. Well. Group number one, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Before we shuffle these, we're going to take, let's see, oh my gosh, my table is such a mess. Okay. I'm going to take one of these new cards. This is thanks to one of my clients who recently sent over um, an amazing donation. And yeah, I want to thank this client of mine so much for sending me that. And so I decided to buy one, even though I've said to myself, no more tarot decks until the end of the year. But look at me, I ended up going for it because this is just too beautiful. I was like, I saw it on someone else's channel. I was like, oh, I have to have that. Okay, so we're going to get one of those, get one of these and a Lenormand uh, card as well. I'm starting to use the Lenormand deck. That is a gift I bought myself. Here it is that I never used. <laughs> and there are a couple of other decks uh, that I never used. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to tie in the theme with group number one. I didn't really, which is what gifts haven't you used? Well, I'll, I'll start now. <laughs> I just got so engrossed in their reading that I forgot there was a topic. Um, okay, so uh, why don't we why don't we just shuffle them all? Okay, just waffling on here. Just get carried away. Okay. All right, and one of these Alice in Wonderland. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see what we've got. Start here. Oh, the Ten of Swords. Okay. This is quite a dramatic depiction of the Ten of Swords here. By the way, I've just noticed that I think my microphone, I don't know if it's... There we go. I don't know if that's any better. Apologies. Oh dear, group one might not have had good sound. Well, it doesn't matter. Ten of Swords. Let's focus. What else have we got here? Vanity. Do you know, I was just editing the, um, the monthly and I talked about Osho and I talked about uh, Justin Trudeau. And it's funny we get this card come up because this beard reminds me of Osho. But I love Osho. I think he's great. 
I like what he wears, you know, I think it's good fun. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, a heart, beautiful. I think this is the heart card. Yes, it is. I've written some notes here for Lenormand Heart. Love, passion, caring for others. Okay. All right. Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. Yes. Wow. Gosh, and that is a dramatic... Two of Cups. Two of Cups is usually uh, a very loving sort of a card. Now, is he? That is interesting. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to work out his expression. Like, is he okay? Is she? Has she is she pushing him over? <laughs> um, not sure. But I'm definitely. As I've been looking at this already, I'm getting the sense of a, of a strong feminine, very loving. Uh, let's keep going here. <laughs> wow, the Joker. All right. We got a wild card. We got a wild man, I think. And what I'm seeing depicted here is I'm not seeing. Okay, so I'm taking you to be the feminine or the more loving person in the relationship, the one who can love with more ease. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine, none of that matters. What matters is you're probably the one who believes in this relationship. This does feel like a relationship thing. And it feels like you believe in the relationship, you give your heart, you give, you give, you give, but then you might be with someone who, now this is not what you have done in, in that pushing him over, but at times this person might make you feel like, gosh, I just want to, you know, push them away or, or something along these lines. Um, because I suspect at times that they act like a bit of a joker or player or, you know, vanity. They, they think they're all that. They think I can get anybody like, you know, um, and your, your heart is true. Because I think ultimately being with this person brings you to this place where you're like, you might even be annoyed at yourself for like, why do I like this person? And that can be challenging actually when you consciously assess everything and you go, I don't think they're right for me at all, but yet you love them. You know, it's that, that uh, confusion within, right? Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm seeing here. So, and I, part of this feeling that you have is, is t towards the other person, but it's also uh, towards yourself as well. Let's take a clarifier for, let's, let's have a look at all of these things, what's going on in here. I want to know, okay, because I, I sense that you're feeling like, there's just not much that you can do. Powerlessness. I mean, maybe there has been some kind of argument or something. Or you've closed out a cycle with this person. And that doesn't mean that you're closing them out. It may mean that you, you just need a bit of a break. King of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. Look at he. This guy's all the man. Look at that again. Like <laughs> it's you know we've got he, here. He is like, hey, I'm the best thing alive, and he's still the best thing alive. You know. Um, okay. And I was asking here. Wow, this guy's kind of okay. I was just going to say this guy's kind of everywhere, but let's let's take a look because because he's here, he's here, he's here, he's that's how you're feeling but there's you are superb you've got you're beautiful you're the queen of cups you've got a beautiful heart to give you're enormously loving let's take a look at you let's see without this person what yeah what guidance or what information do we have about you oh four of cups okay Let's just look at it, but I'll keep shuffling. 
So it could be some kind of plateau. I just had the word indecision come in, but I don't feel like you're indecisive. I kind of, I kind of feel like you're clear. Let's have a look. Queen of Cups. Have a clarifier here. <coughs> Apologies, I just have to clear my throat. It's interesting, I've needed to clear my throat a couple of times in this reading as well. Three of Cups. Mm. And I'm asking that about you. And we did have boredom earlier as well. And we've got Three of Cups here. Okay. Because this is kind of saying to me, Go out and socialize, be with people. Let's get one for this heart card here, which is a number six, which in tarot is, is a love uh, number as well. Queen of Swords. Wow. She's come up as I'm asking about your heart and she's all about boundaries. So this is like a, you know, perhaps mm, don't be so energetically available to this person right and and look further afield is what i'm getting like socialize see uh see what's going on out in the world don't feel like your thoughts have to keep going here to all of this do i want to ask any more do you know it's always really interesting when i have the option to ask for more about this person. I, this happened at some readings ago and I wanted to because it would, wouldn't it be nice to spy on them and see what's really going on but I always end up choosing hey let's build your world let's see what you're doing so let's go in this direction here let's say you are putting up your boundaries a bit and not giving so much energy to this person here what are you creating? What are you doing? What are you building? What are you enjoying? What are you enjoying? Let's go there. What are you enjoying? Let's expand that side of the story. Oh, the three of wands. You're building the future and you're looking far out into the future as well. Wonderful. And sometimes with the three of wands, we're looking, we're, we're waiting for our ships to come back in. So, you know, all the good karma that you put out into the world, you know, some of, some of all of that is going to come back. Great. Okay, so good. You're building the future. You put the boundaries up. What are you creating? What are you doing? And by boundaries, someone said recently, and I really love this, she said, boundaries is such an aggressive word. And I, I do agree with that. And instead of boundary, how I like to see it is that you are being more you. You're putting you more out there into the world. You're filling up your own space with you, right? Instead of, you know, your mind space being taken up by this person, right? <laughs> you know, just kind of fill you, the space with you and then they'll, they'll just kind of go to the outside and not be a thing maybe, you know? Oh, look at that, four of wands. Yes, yes. So create, build your dream life because that is what's here for you. That's great. Oh, I'm loving this. See, so it's like the more you expand yourself and fill your own life with you, because perhaps, <clears throat> perhaps you grew up with a parent or parents who they took up all the space and you had no space to be you or to speak or to do anything, you know, and, and, and possibly they took up all the life and and so as a result you're you're used to just like this is your space and you're used to just operating in here and so somebody comes in and they take all of that they go oh brilliant look at all that space and it's like no you need to expand you and expand okay well this is me this is this is what i'm into this is what i like this is who i am you know and and sometimes when we're in relationships like this it's like yeah you're kind of in this tiny little space and it's all about this person you know and no it it, it, sh it should be equal you know it should that's ultimately what we need to be looking for relationships where it's equal okay let's take a look <clears throat> sorry about my 
throat. But do you know what? I think there's some uh, throat chakra, chakra clearing happening here. Ooh, the projection conspiracy. Let's take a look. What's going on here? So that's number 35. God, I wish I had the cards for this because they're really beautifully illustrated. But it doesn't matter. I, I don't mind this hand-drawn thing as well. Okay, so I'll do that so you can read this and you can kind of pause it. So the projection conspiracy. And then, and then I'll start reading from here. So it says receiving this card. If you receive this card, you are being put on notice that your projections have become a conspiracy for you. With this projection conspiracy going on, your judgment can easily turn into a major fight. Wow, we've got a fight here. That's amazing. Okay. Um, with projection, you always feel morally superior, which is why you want to keep the separation that judgment brings. This allows you to act as if what is judged and being and what is judged and projected is nothing like you. Okay, so yeah, there's this whole they're not like me thing. Okay. To get rid of this conspiracy, you must first realize that you are projecting. Once you do, you must then be willing to do something about it. Next, see if you are aware that you have the same flaw as the person you have projected the characteristic on. Yes, okay. You may have the opposite style of doing it, but fundamentally it is the same. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I suppose this is like when I said that thing about Osho and Justin Trudeau that they dress in a really outrageous way. But me, maybe I dress in a super conservative way. So I'm doing like the same thing as them, but just in the other direction. Okay, I'm learning here. This is good. <laughs> I probably need this. Uh, okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm doing the same thing in an opposite manner. Of course, if someone suggests that you do the same thing, then you would feel insulted because of the power of your compensation. Right. Yes. Yeah, so if someone said to me, oh, you dress in a really conservative way, I probably would feel a bit, you know. Oh. OK, um, the compensation may be so strong that you may feel that you would rather die. Whoa. Then do then ever do something like that. Yeah. And that's we've got that depicted here. OK, right. Uh, it is also possible that you adopt both styles of doing the same thing that you are judging in someone else. Compensations are just a way of trying to prove that you do not have the flaw that you are defending against. Interesting, defending against. We've got the Queen of Swords here. Because it is a defense and not true giving, these compensations are ultimately fruitless. The key to transforming projections is to notice the self-torture you have within you because of this flaw. Yeah, and I was saying earlier in the reading that there could be some form of self-attack that you're doing because you could be like, why am I attracting this person? You know, and then you start attacking your own self, okay? So definitely try not to attack your own self. I've done tons of that. <laughs> I, I know that whole thing really well. Um, and so it looks uh, because of this flaw. Once you realize how much you are attacking yourself, yeah, for this flaw, you can decide whether you want to keep torturing yourself or whether you want to help the person you are projecting onto. If you want to help them, imagine yourself letting go of all the self-attack, letting go of all the self-attack and self-torture and going to help them. Brilliant. Okay, well, I really enjoyed that and I've learned a lot from these two pages. I'll try and do that. So if you need to pause it. Hopefully this comes good on the um, on the screen that you'll be able to read that as well. But guys, this has been your reading today. I hope this has been a good one and I hope the guidance has been really helpful. We are in amazing hands with this man Chuck Spitzano here and I'm loving learning from him. So let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how this reading landed and resonated and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number three. If you chose group number three then you are in the right place. Before we shuffle these we're going to shuffle 
from this new beautiful card set that I've got, which is thanks to one of my clients who recently donated. Thank you so much. And I bought this. Um, and yeah, it's just, I love this deck. It's so beautiful. Uh, and I am just realizing I've come out of group two and I didn't particularly speak about what gifts haven't you used. <laughs> I'm not really on topic today, am I? But there are lots of messages coming through. So let's see. Let's see what comes through for you, group number three. So we're going to draw one, ideally, just one. Let's take that one. Uh, and then we're going to go for, what have we got here? This. And then we'll take a Lenormand card. And I'm using Lenormand for the first time. The gift I haven't used, <laughs> the gift I bought myself. These arrived from Singapore and it was the strangest thing because Singapore is like the cleanest country on earth and the packet was full of dirt. And I had to sit there with each card just kind of wiping them all totally clean. Like it is so weird. But anyway, okay, so we've got this 22, which I can see over there, crossroad. Okay, card of free will, you get to choose. Nice, okay. Let's see, let's see what else we have going on. We'll take one, oh yeah, we'll take one from here. I hope your week is going well, wherever you are. Group number three, it's very rainy here in Sydney, Australia. We haven't had this much rain in, I don't, I don't even remember this much rain. It's really quite strange, because normally this is a sunny country and it should be really really warm at this time it's really not okay hmm. there we go all right let's see what's going on so we've got ooh, the four of coins mm. you're holding on to something but there's a crossroads and it sounds like you've got I'm looking at my notes here because it's got here crossroad card of free will you get to choose so you get to choose oh enlightenment yes that's great wow and look at that that's so that's just direct there's no mucking around with this card because in group one i think we had two beings and then two beings and destiny and all this sort of thing but this is just no messing about there it's quite obvious Seven of coins, so you're assessing something, stepping back, three of cups, okay, maybe there's been something that you have been celebrating or you would like to celebrate, <gasps> three of cups, yes, 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 we just had that, we had that in group two, sorry, I, I just got confused, okay, ten of pentacles, fantastic, Group number three. Well, uh, well, we might as well talk about the topic. Yeah, you've got a lot of gifts and good things to enjoy here. It sounds like it sounds like you're celebrating your so ten of pentacles. You're on track, creating a good material life around you. That's going well. You're doing it. You're stepping back. You're assessing. You're assessing the hard work. This could be about work, actually. This could be about you assessing which path you want to take and that ha, you know has everything is everything i'm doing is this is this right something you're holding on to we'll dig around that we'll find out what's going on there and i feel like one of these pathways is going to lead to enlightenment is going to lead to and i kind of feel like it's the pathway that you're on but maybe you just need to believe and keep going Let's, let's dig around. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so why is the four of coins here? What are you holding on to? What are you holding on to at this time? Group number three. Oh, two. Let's take them both. Okay. Ace of Cups. Nice. Three of Wands. Hmm. Okay. 
it's like you want to go to the future because three of wands can be like a future horizon future card what's what's out there you know we're looking at the ships on the horizon are they coming back in but it's like maybe there's something or someone in your heart space that you're holding on to now if you keep holding on to this it could be a memory it could be a situation it could be a person it could be anything but there's something in your heart space that you are holding on to i want to ask the question is that is that holding you back let's have a look is that holding you back we've got the three of cups here which is celebration and it's happiness and it's good times maybe you're holding on to some really great memories from the past is is there something in your heart space that is holding you back could be an old relationship an old flame something that didn't work out in the past is is this thing holding you back six of wands well hmm now see because six of wands could be considered a yes card but equally it could be considered a um that it's worth hanging on to this thing whatever this is okay let's mm, let's ask is it worth hanging on is it worth worth holding on to whatever this thing is in your heart space the star healing yeah okay nice What are the two pathways? What's that? Are you at a crossroads? And if so, what, what, let's have some guidance on what are the two pathways. It feels like this thing, maybe whatever you're holding on to in your heart space, maybe let it be there. Um, okay, let's have a look at crossroads. What's going on at the crossroads? Why is there a crossroads here? Ace of Wands. Ooh. Let's have a look. No, I need another one. Because that, that's brilliant, right? This is fire, passion, love, excitement, adventure, new beginning, in any of those directions, right? In any of those kind of love, adventure, career. So there's some pathway that is fantastic and we see that here we've got the enlightenment card right here so maybe that's one of the pathways what about the other pathway Ooh, let's take both these <laughs> justice okay the sun Far out. Because this is all stemming out of this, the pathways. What you're going to choose. I actually, I kind of feel like this is all one thing. I don't necessarily see, I'm, yeah, okay, let's, what are you assessing? This is an interesting reading because there's kind of these disparate things that I'm not able to, maybe that's what the crossroads is, that you've got quite a few things going on. And maybe at some future point they all do converge and all of this does make sense. But at the moment it's like you've got these different branches of things going on. What are you assessing? What are you assessing right now? Mm. Oh, King of Wands. Okay, we've seen it, but we didn't choose it. <laughs> we didn't draw it. We didn't pick it out. Let's <laughs> see, what, what are we assessing? Are we assessing a King of Wands or is it something else? Maybe this is the choice point. 
Maybe we're getting a demonstration of the crossroads here. Interesting. Maybe we're getting a live kind of ooh, page of cups. It's like, are you choosing between, and it could be two people as well. It could be like, are you choosing between a king of wands, a person that you know, or this new love thing that you don't really know what's going to happen there, but that person seemed nice and maybe there's something. I don't know. Okay, seven of coins, cups. Oh, hang on. No, no, that's pentacles. That is assessing. Yep, yep, good. Sorry, I got confused there. Page of cups, new beginning in love. I think that's what you're assessing. You're assessing a new beginning in love. And you're assessing, do I, do I go for it? And then say, if the offer is there for you, it feels like a yes, because you've got the Ace of Wands, you've got justice, and you've got the sun. So these are terrific cards. And justice is a really good card because it's like, Maybe you did something good in the past and maybe that good karma is coming back to you. And this is what you're due. You're due something good, okay? That is what I can tell you. There's something you've done in your past. There's some good thing. There's some, there's some goodness that is due to come to you. And I do get a sense, I kind of get a sense that you might discover that it's been worth holding on to the memory of someone or the idea of someone or something along those lines. It's all looking pretty good to me. Let's just see what this is and then we'll get something from the Chuck Spezzano thing and that will be the reading. Wow, this one's been interesting. Okay, so we're clarifying three of cups. What are you celebrating? What's it about? What's this energy? Why is it here? Let's take the top one. Oh, the lovers. Wow. This is all really beautiful. I feel like it's like you're celebrating or you're going to be celebrating making the right choice. Yeah. Envisage that for your future. You are celebrating making the right choice. Trust yourself. Massive message coming through here. Trust yourself. Why? Because you're in touch with that little spark of light within you, that little bit of God that's within you. You trust that. You're in touch with that. You're in touch with your own power. Okay, and that, that is helping you build your life. And it's helping you build your love life too. Wow, great reading here, group three. I'm loving it. Let's take, a, let's take one of these. We only took one of these for group two, but I didn't get to take one of the positive aspects. Let's take one of these and let's take, let's see if we can just sneak in a positive card as well. Let's take that. <laughs> the not my job conspiracy, okay. <laughs> and what do we have here? We'll take one of these. I didn't for group two. I hope they don't mind. Uh, the not my job conspiracy. I like it. What do we got? Take one of those learning. Aha. Uh -huh. A card that I would have been very disappointed to get many years ago, but I love getting it now. <laughs> I'm like, when I get the learning card, I'm the happiest person. Okay, um, 33, the Not My Job Conspiracy. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it says here, we have taken on work that is distracting us from what we were really called to do. Wow, we've taken on too much. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'll let you read that in your own time. You can pause that, but I'm going to read from here. So it says here, receiving this card. If you receive this card, it is time to reflect about what has value for you. Is it important for you to complete your purpose, your life mission? Okay. Or do you want all the other goals and distractions that are so time consuming? If you choose the latter, then you have sided with your ego to avoid your life's goal. And you will never truly know yourself. Wow. It is through your giving that you know yourself and life's meaning. Yeah. If you avoid your purpose, then you are doing the wrong thing. Amazing. 
It is not God's plan for you to be so busy or take on so much. You are avoiding the big steps awaiting you and the fulfillment that belongs to you. The sacrifice of enabling others rather than truly helping can only make you old and tired, not happy. It is time to ask your higher mind for an attitude shift to align your will with God's instead of secretly rebelling and attacking through sacrifice. Wow, that's so deep. Set your mind on your purpose. Recommit to that. Let go of the rest. Others will take it up. You are called upon for great things. If you are not the star in your life, get out, we drew the star card. Yeah, there. If you are not the star in your life, then you will not embrace the true greatness that transcends the vicious circle of smallness and the self-inflation of the ego. What was it that you promised you would accomplish in this life? Is that sacred promise not the most important thing to you? Do not trivialize your life. Live your greatness. Give your gifts. Make a difference. Wow. That is huge. I was just saying, wow, that is huge. And then it cut out. Oh my goodness. Group number three, that was epic. I'm going to read that again. I hope you guys can pause this and it'll come up on the screen just fine as well. You can read it in your own time. I'm sometimes not the best um, reading out loud person. Also, I'm also doing it through a little tiny screen as well. Uh, 54. Let's take a quick look. Learning. What are you learning? Yeah, that whole sacrifice thing. I'm trying to learn about that because I think because I think I've connected like sacrifice with wealth and earning money, and so then like I don't earn money or something. I don't know. I, I'm figuring all this stuff out myself, guys. So anyway, uh, learning. So I'll just do that, and you can pause it, and I'll do that, and you can pause it and read as well. But let me just see if I've got something to say quickly. If you receive this card, then the healing gift of learning can break you free of whatever has trapped you. Absolutely. Yeah. No, this is this is fantastic. So, uh, and if you want to learn more, I'm reading. I'm currently, I've just finished actually. I think it was last night I finished it, Where Angels Fear to Tread. So I might get some more of his stuff. I don't know. But Group number three, what an amazing reading this has been. Let me know how you got on with this. I do think, yeah, love, love is, is part of your life. The not my job conspiracy. I mean, it's not your job to heal somebody else. Okay, so that is another thing that we can read from this. So don't do that. You use your gifts in service of the divine, doing your work, doing your path. Uh, and, and, you know, don't be distracted by illusions. Um, and all the right things are going to come to you just fine. So if you think you're at a crossroads, I think you may, I think that might be an illusion. Actually, what you, what you need to do is just be on your path, do your purpose, live your greatness. That's it. Nothing more. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in group number three. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.